Oh, oh no! <laughs> what have I done? Hey guys, what's up? LD Shadow Lady here and welcome back to Shadowcraft. Today you're joining me by my beach house. And to start off the episode, I have found a pink dolphin somewhere around here. It was right here. There it is. You might remember that we actually once had a pink dolphin in the past. May she rest in peace. And I want to tame this one too, so I know it takes a while. So please just excuse me while I sweet talk this dolphin into being my friend. You would match my house perfectly, please. You don't understand how much I need this. Okay, so I think I've been doing this all wrong and I was supposed to give it fish. So, whoops. Uh, oh, oh no! <laughs> what have I done? Oh god. Yes, fish, fish, fish! Gimme, gimme, gimme. So apparently the more fish you, you feed the dolphin, the easier it is to tame. So, ow, I may die to a stingray. I'm back. I've got some fish for you. Now. Will you let me love you? Please. Why? I'm running so low on health, I had no idea that dolphin taming was so dangerous. Come on! <gasps> Yay! Okay, we tamed the dolphin, finally. I like the name Lily for this one. So now we have the pink dolphin Lily. Matches my hair and my beach house, so let's take you back. In case you didn't know, pink dolphins are very rare in the Mo Creatures mod, so we've got ourselves a little bit of a specialty here. I think we should um, maybe build a small enclosure. I'm going to use some of the sand that I just collected, which I was going to make fish bowls out of, but this is like making a huge fish bowl, I guess, so close enough. Okay, so. For now, Lily will be safe in here. She's even got a pig friend. And now, whoop, nearly walked into that cactus and killed myself. <laughs> Food. I'm going to eat the, re the remaining bananas as well. Uh, we should make a furnace or get out the furnace wherever it's gone. Okay, let's pop the furnace down because we need to smelt all of that so that we can make some fish balls. So we can make one at the moment. Hang on a second. There's a very tropical looking fish over there. That's perfect for what I'm putting together here. Actually, I quite like a pink fish. I know it's tempting to get the dory fish, but we already have a dory fish, so I think I'll pass up that opportunity. Any pink fish? Wow, no pink fish. I'll take a purple fish. Pink or purple? Heck, I'll take a cyan fish. <gasps> pink fish! Come here, get in there. Yeah, that's right. I think we'll put him, her, uh, right here. Here. Hopefully that stays in place. Hello, sheep. Can I help you? It's so cute. It's got little love hearts on it. Okay, let's make some more fish bowls. Out of this glorious glass that we have just made. Let us fill with the fish bowls. So since this is a beach house, I'm going for like a tropical theme. So I'm going to try to find all the tropical colored fish. So clownfish are technically tropical fish, but we already have a clownfish and a dory fish. It's quite funny that nobody actually knows the correct name for a- <gasps> What? Let's just pretend that didn't happen, because that's embarrassing. Continuing on with the fish search. Um, get in. Get in the bowl. Come on. Yay! Okay, so that just cloned it, because- there's one in my hand, and then there's one still there, so we have a clone of a dory fish. Oh, snails and a slug. Hello. And a maggot. No. Ugh. Put the clownfish over here. On this side, and then we'll have the dory fish over here. There we go. You know what, we might actually need a lamp in here. How does one make a lamp? With wool? A light bulb? Ugh. Ugh, glass panes torch. Okay, we can do this, we can do this. There we go, six light bulbs. We're gonna need a lot more wool. Luckily I saw a sheep wandering around here earlier, so... Well, have no fear, there are plenty of other sheep in the world. Just like these unsuspecting victims here. You know what, I should probably take Luna back to the house before Princess Luna wanders off. Oh, I just sheared the saddle off her, I'm sorry. 
<gasps> Did not mean to de-saddle you prematurely. Right, let's go on a little adventure for sheep. Can I shear them while riding a horse? Wow, that that's that's quite a skill. All I can see is wolves. They must have killed all of the sheep. Well, that search yielded literally no sheep. So let's just make. Da -da -da -da, what are we making? Let's make the lamps. We need sticks, wool, and light bulbs. So we can have two lamps, which is enough for now. So I think we should put one here. Is that on? That's on. Okay, and maybe one here as well. Not sure if that lights up that part of the room enough, but we'll just have to hope. And we need a final fish bowl. Oh, we can have a couple. Let's do three. Wait, that was not three. Tropical fish, tropical fish. Where art thou, tropical fish? I think we should also get like a manta ray and a stingray for our pond area, for the area around. Oh, there are a lot of fish over there. Oh, green fish! Yes, yes, please. Ouchie. Ouchie. Oh no! <gasps> what happened? That was not meant to happen, obviously. Okay, we have to be super careful. Because we don't want that to happen again. Because that would be really annoying. Where are all the fish? Oh, <gasps> is that a shark? Hello, shark. Oh no. Oh, oh sharky, no! No! Hehe. <laughs> the shark looks kind of goofy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, that this would be cool to put in like an item frame. Yeah. That will look cool in the beach house. I'm kind of glad I had to kill that shark. <gasps> Hang on, I see a fish. Come to me. Get in the bowl. Get in the bowl. Yay, we have a fish. Okay, now we just need one more. Um I guess this yellow one will do. Get in the bowl. Oh, thank gosh. Okay. Oh, hang on. There's a plain yellow one there. I quite like that. Can I just switch them over? Oh, no. Yay! We got the yellow fish. And we got a blue fish. So we'll have a blue fish up here. And we'll have a yellow fish down here. Cute! Plenty of fish. Dot com. And now, where did that other item frame go that we had in the last episode? Is it still on the wall? Yay! Okay, now we can just put the shark tooth in here. <gasps> cool! Wait, I want to turn it upside down. Whoa! Okay, I'm going to use some of these quartz blocks to make some quartz slabs. I'm going to use this. And now, we need to build a pool. Shall we have it out the front here? I think so. I don't actually want a deep pool, because in case you don't know, I can't swim. Why have these leaves not disappeared yet? Is there a piece of wood in there somewhere? Ah, oh, dang it, there is. Ugh, oh, why does life forsake me like this? So, we'll just put some quartz blocks around the outside of the pool. Oh gosh, I'm stuck in the pool. Ah, it's the Sims all over again. Actually, we should probably line the pool with something other than dirt. Because that's kind of disgusting. I'm literally just going to have to cheat them in because there is no way I'm going all the way back to the nether just to get seven quartz slabs. No, thank you. Ain't nobody got time for that. Mm -hmm. Now to just do the laborious task of filling the pool. Okay, now, what would be cool in the pool? <laughs> I'm thinking one of the decorational items, maybe... How does one make a stuffed creeper? With green wool and gunpowder. Let's make one of those then. I think we are, yeah, we have some gunpowder in here. We've got some cactus, which we can cook. And then we have some wool here to dye. So green wool and gunpowder. <gasps> creeper! Jump into the pool! Let's see if we can put him on here. And then remove this. So he's floating! Floating creeper! Cute! Okay, so the next thing that I want to put in the house is a sofa. Oh, it's a couch. So we just need a load of white wool. So we're gonna need the shears and we're gonna need some sheep volunteers. Okay, but first of all we're going to need some sleep. And now we hunt. I spy with my little eyes something beginning with sheep. No. Ow. <gasps> Nearly dead. 
Maybe it's just better to die. Yeah. Oh no! <gasps> I just set fire to Nemo. We don't just pretend that that didn't happen. And let's just go make a sofa, okay? White couch, lovely, lovely. Let's just put that there. What the heck? It's only, that's not a couch. Many couches. I think this should be enough. Oh, perfect. And we'll just pop them down there. Uh, yeah, I think that's fine. We could put another one in too, like here. Oh, that's awkward. Let's put some of this wood down. And we can have a torch on there. Same over here. So now let's just go replace the Nemo that we killed and pretend that that never happened. Snake, are you stuck? Are you stuck in the water? Or are you a water snake? Oh, that's a cactus. Oh, watch out for that. That is a cactus. Oh, that's a cactus as well. Yeah, you don't want to walk into either of those, really. Okay, well, it looks like we're just going to have to have another dory. Double dories. Do you not want to be part of my family? I only killed most of my pets. There's a slight chance you might not be one of them. Wait a second. Okay, Dory, meet your twin. Dory! Okay, so like I said in the last episode, I want to get some more pets to... I'm going to move these because they're dangerous. And I want them to be aquatic pets, so I think I might extend this enclosure a little bit or make another enclosure and then have some stingrays or manta rays. Maybe I can have one of them in the pool. Hmm, I could put some tropical fish in the pool. Yes, good idea, Lizzie, good idea. How do I do that? Make a net. So we need, oh gosh, we need shark teeth and string. Okay, let's take Princess Luna on a small adventure to the ocean. I'm gonna leave you here because I don't want you to get hurt. While I take on the big meanie with the big teeth. Oh gosh, he hurts quite hard. <gasps> okay, so I got one shark tooth and I'm almost dead. <laughs> Not great. If only there were a cow nearby that I could kill for some steak, maybe. That would be great. No, no. Ah, oh, it's a freakishly huge fish. Dismount. Okay. Now we can make some fish nets. So we need to here and here. Oh, thank gosh. Okay. Now we have a fish net so we can go and capture some manta rays and stingrays. Probably not stingrays because they will probably sting us and hate us. Are you a stingray or a manta ray? Please. Yep, you're a stingray. Thank you for letting me know in the most polite way possible by just stinging me. Oh, is this a stingray or a manta ray? I think this is a manta ray. Hello, will you sting me? Well, it hasn't stung me yet, so I'm inclined to think it might just be a normal manta ray. So I'll capture it and see. Hopefully it's a manta ray and it will safely inhabit this enclosure with Lily. So let's pop our unknown animal in here and I'm gonna give it the name Sydney. Here we go. So there we go. Hopefully they don't kill each other or harm each other in any way. And hopefully they'll still be here in the next episode. So that's it for this week's episode of Shadowcraft. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more Shadowcraft, don't forget to leave a like. And also leave a comment letting me know what you want me to do in future episodes. I think there's still a little bit of work to do at the beach house. And we have a fishnet now so we can collect a load more aquatic animals. So they're going to need names, so make sure to leave suggestions for that. And I'll see you in the next episode. Oh my god, no way. I you just found dug diamonds too? I just dug randomly. I found diamonds. And you complained of me? I found diamonds, Lizzie. It doesn't matter. I'm, I'm, I'm an idiot. Sorry. Okay, race home. Race home. Creeper! Uh